Hi everyone, I'm Sebastian Uribe and I'm, I'm making another helicopter video. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between anti-torque helicopters and coaxial helicopters. You can see the big difference between them. I'll explain how they work. Okay, so let's start with, out with coaxial helicopters now. A, sorry, coaxial no. Anti-torque helicopters. These helicopters are easy to identify. They have only one blade over here, and they have a teeny tiny tail rotor in vertical mode. When it's in our in horizontal mode, like coaxial three-channel helicopters, which it means it's a coaxial. You know, you'll identify these easily. Now, how do these work? And first of all, why is there a tail rotor here? Now. It's because when this blade spins, it spins in this direction. The body of the helicopter tends to spin in the opposite direction. So, well, it spins in the opposite direction, you don't want that spin. Now, in this helicopter, this helicopter cannot be controlled like forward and backward and side to side. But in other helicopters, like the one I'm gonna get, which is one like this, it, you can't control that. So, what, if it's spinning and you try to move forward, it'll do like, so you won't be able to control this helicopter. In real helicopters, it's like this too. They have the one blade and the tail rotor. But they work a bit different. Now, this helicopter here has the tail rotor because when this blade spins, the body of the helicopter tends to spin in the opposite direction. So the tail, the tail rotor here, that's be, that's why it's look, that's why it's oriented in a vertical way, because when it spins. It's called a sometimes anti-torque rotor. Well, it spins with the helicopter and keeps it stable because it provides thrust opposite to the direction the helicopter wants to spin. So, if it tends to spin this way, it provides thrust this way. So the helicopter will keep stable. And that's also how this helicopter spins. By spinning this blade faster or slower. Now, there are some collective helicopters that work a bit different. There's... I put a link in the video and under the description, you might be able to see it right now, that says how the fixed pitch and collective pitch helicopters work. Even though the video is not mine, it's a great explanation, I could tell you. Now, these, this helicopter has just a little tiny tail motor here, you can actually remove the blade here. And you can see it's a tail motor with a shaft. That's actually pretty easy. And these are TV helicopters. These are fixed pitch helicopters. Fixed pitch helicopters always have a tail motor, or almost always. While Kira, which is a pro helicopter manufacturer, has a fixed pitch helicopter but has a shaft instead of a motor. Collective pitch helicopters have either a shaft or a belt, so the motor is connected to this blade. So in a collective helicopter, if you spin this blade, the tail motor will spin. The tail rotor will spin too, and it has a collective system, a collective pitch system here. Okay, well, that's all for anti-torque helicopters. So now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Sorry, I didn't know if I was recording, I wasn't sure. So, now, this, this one is a coaxial helicopter. You can tell a lot of the difference. The biggest difference is the size here. And uh, also a bigger difference, even, even the size, is that this one, as you can see, has two blades. And these blades can spin independently one from another. This helicopter has two motors. Well, actually it has three. It has this one too. This helicopter only has two motors, but one is for the blade and one is for the for the tail rotor. Right? This helicopter has three motors. One here and one here. One for each blade. And one here for the, for the tail rotor here. These helicopters don't have shaft, even though if they were collective, which they are not, they wouldn't have any shaft or belt driven here because this one has to spin or spin independently from these two blades. When you turn the helicopter on and you actually fly, you can see that these blades spin at the same time and at the same speed, and exactly the same speed. But they spin independently from one another. And the way you steer is by making one blade spin slower and the other spin faster. And these blades spin in opposite directions. This blade spins like this, spins counterclockwise, this one spins clockwise, so when the clockwise when the the top blade spins, spins clockwise, the helicopter the body of the helicopter won't want to spin counterclockwise. 
and when this blade spins counterclockwise, the helicopter body will want to spin clockwise. So as the as both forces have equal amount of force, but they are they are different forces, they are opposite forces, even though they have the same power, the helicopter will stay straight. So let's say if I want to spin it with my hand, and I take my other hand and put it on the body of the helicopter, and I try to spin it, I can't spin it no matter how hard I push. But if I push hard um, as the same amount of force on both hands, the helicopter won't spin. That's the same thing, only that without your hands. It's with the motors. So the both forces are opposite, and they keep the helicopter straight. The, that's also the way you spin. For example, to spin a clockwise, you, may, you will just simply move the rudder stick, the yaw stick, sorry, on the remote. I think it's called a yaw. Well, well it's the one to make it spin, actually. So, the, when it does that, the body, the helicopter, sorry, will make the bottom blade spin faster and the top blade spin slower. Now, why does it make the top blade spin slower? Because if the bottom blade spin faster, it will turn anyways, but the helicopter would go up because it's generating more lift. So, when this one spins slower, it generates less, less lift. It has opposite energies in more than one way. That's how these helicopters spin out. These helicopters, usually almost all, have a tiny tail rotor here, which it turns, turns and makes the helicopter go like this. So when it goes like this, the, the wind that it blows, well, it doesn't actually blow wind, but the empty it creates above the helicopter won't be just upwards. When it's like this, it'll suck the helicopter in this direction, which causes it to move backwards. The same when it happened the opposite way. The, empty of the helicopter that will suck the helicopter in a forward direction. This has about five or four opposite energies, which I'll explain in a video on advanced helicopter physics. Now, that's all you need to know about coaxial and anti-torque. Now, coaxial helicopters are more for beginners, more than for experts. For experts are more these helicopters. Now, this helicopter is, is not a pro helicopter, even though it may look like one. It's not one. I'll get a video. I will show you in my uh, helicopter. You'll see a lot of difference between this one. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.